Hi guys, how are you guys? Guess what? Today's my Jesse's birthday. Let me turn this down. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching Crush with the Alicia Silverstone on uh, Tupi, I think. That's it. Yeah, and the girls baked them a cake and it's just out of the oven right now. We didn't even have money or save any money to do something better for him, pobrecito. But he's such a good little boy. He deserves the world, you know. So, and I am, I made some gorditas. This is barely my breakfast and it's already, I don't know what time, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, guys, hold on. Oh, that's two. Okay, so today I'm drinking Jamaica, which is really good for you. I lost the nail, so I had to put that one on. Over here too, so I had to put this glittery one on. This one looks ratchet. I'm eating gorditas. And this one, I couldn't get them open. I couldn't get them open because they were too thin, so I just did it on top and said, you know, it's, it's, referred to as a pellizcada a pinch you can make something like this uh, in Mexico and uh, it's a Mexican dish of course but um, they have different names for the, like this would be a gordita because it's stuffed in there this one is a cheese mozzarella cheese and some chili de árbol with just a few drops because I don't know you know Spice up my booty. Oh, very good. And this is the healthiest way that you can make them. Is after you make them, you put it, put them on a on a comal. Because if you fry them, then you know they're also called gorditas, but they're not good for you. On the, uh, I don't know what you call it in English, the comal. A comal is uh, uh, like a iron casket, like iron, what do you call it? A flat thing like this, or like this square around, where you can heat up your tortillas on. It's not a pan, it's not a, let's see, a uh, tortilla warmer maybe, tortilla heater. Tortilla heater upper. <laughs> It's got to have a name. I just don't know what it is. Guys, my foot hurts so bad, so much. Oh, I don't know if I told you that. My cardiologist won't see me. We didn't have any appointments, any, anything available until May 12th. And that's a long time for me to be limping around the way I do and hopping yeah. around the way I do. You know, it's very hard for me to get around. Mm, usually I'm just in bed unless we have to go to the doctor. And even then it's a, it's a bitch because I'm just sitting in the car. Going from point A to point B and my foot is, you know, down. Oh my God. I don't know what the blood flow is going like, but that's when I get my pains. Really bad, sharp pains. So guys, men and women, if you have diabetes, make it a point to at least go once every three months to a to a beauty salon and get yourself a pedicure. Cause, uh, cause especially if you have neuropathy, don't like me. Cause you could step on something, even a nail, a small nail. With the neuropathy, you won't feel it. Oh. And of course, it'll get infected, and then you can end up like me. And I'm just yeah, praying that I don't have to have my my foot chopped off, mm -hmm. to be honest. Because mm -hmm. it's possible. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite wig. It's so damn sexy. 
Don't mind the face. <laughs> Still have cheese because I buy the big ass bar like that at uh, Sam's or at the grocery store. I had a um, mozzarella down to the last little cube, so I made two of uh, I made a few of, of uh, cheese. So this, since I put the chile de árbol in, the chile de árbol is a red chili and it's very spicy. Mmm. And you can see it's a little bit red right there, but I only put a little bit of, like, a few drops, because I don't want to. I like spice and chili, but not, not to the point that it's going to get me sick to my stomach and hurt my stomach and hurt my booty hole, you know? El de atrás es el que paga, no? And then the one in the back is the one that pays for it. I like this movie, Crush. You guys have seen it, right? It's old. I think it was the early 90s, late 80s, maybe. I don't know, but I had it on VHS. I don't know if it's still upstairs or not. Very good movie. There's a little girl that so this is over the neighbor. He decides to rent from from this lady and this man. We have a very beautiful big house. And she's only like 14. And she obsesses over him. Man, these are fucking good guys. I'm out of groceries. That's why I'm like been eating tacos and beaners and eggs. Ah, oh, my new cuts book. I said we were going to have a party. Well, we're going to have a party, but just us four. You know? I bought him a, um, two boxes of a cake mix banana. And a frosting that's uh, whipped, whipped, whipped what, whipped uh, French vanilla, I think. Or cheesecake flavor, I don't remember. But this is Sesame. I actually bought that for church, but we didn't have money today for his birthday, so we, I said, let's bake him a cake. And then I bought a strawberry filling, a can of strawberry filling, so I want to put, uh, it's the light quarter frosting, because I'm not into frosting that much. I don't know. I probably don't talk. All right, I wish I had bananas, so I could put a couple of banana slices up in that bitch. It's still going to be bomb. My cakes are always bomb. Although, the, the, Julia is the one that baked it. It's already done. It's out of the stove. Now we just have to wait for it to cool down so we can do that business. Business. Oh, I think my foot is worse. The cut itself is not bigger or whatever, but... A hottie just texted me. I think, I think my prayers have been answered, guys. I think, I hope, and pray, my prayers have been answered, and I think I might finally have a, what I've been praying for, a very good Christian man. So, I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. So handsome. He's 46, he's 46 today, like my just, isn't that a coincidence? 
my foot, my foot, my foot, my foot, my foot. You know what? I would show you guys because I, I don't, you know, my way to this. But you guys, my, but it would get flagged down because it's graphic, you know? It looks bad. It looks bad. It's not that it's on the part of me heel and then going up, you know? I'm so happy that I met him. We've only been talking a little bit through Facebook, but I don't know. Just something tells me that that might be the one. Okay, he's already coming in on my pictures. <laughs> Hardy, har, har, har. Dude, let me tell you something really funny, okay? I met this other dude on Facebook. Very handsome. Oh my god. This dude was cutting up like this on his pictures and he was 54 years old and looked magnificent. I got so tangled up in our conversation about, oh my God, you're so handsome, oh my God, you're so beautiful, and this and that, back and forth, back and forth, whatever. I never looked ah, through his profile, which is a no-no. Oh, whenever um, yeah, you ask somebody or somebody wants to add you, and you like what you see, What's wrong? search through their prof profile. And see their likes and all that stuff. I didn't notice because I was all in my head. This dude had I don't remember how many friends. A couple thousand, okay? And I, I went to his friend list. Watch. And I shit you not, okay? I, I was only not even halfway through the A's. Anybody with their name with the letter A. I have nothing against gay people, okay? I have family that's gay. I have a very good friend that's gay as well. Um, this dude... Only in the first days, okay? I saw three. One dude and his profile was facing a wall, kneeling down on the bed with a thong on. And I was like, my God, que atrevida. She was very así, ¿verdad? And I look at his profile and it says transvestite. How you doing? And I said, what the fuck? And I said, I thought this guy was 100% a man, you know? Mm. Nobody can make beans like I do. Mm. Okay, and then... I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Well, you better believe. You best believe I went through her pictures and I wanted to see if he had commented on any. He didn't. He didn't give her hearts or likes or nothing. Okay? When you add somebody or or they add you, what is the first thing you do? Go in there and say, hi, how are you? This and that. You talk. You say hi at least. Anyways, and then I find another one. You know, wearing a skirt, you could see. That one you could tell big time it was a vato. Mini skirt and high heels. And it said on there the front page, transvestite and and that he does, you know, like call girl business scene. Uh, call, call girl, you know what I mean? Oh my God. 
and then I saw another one. I was looking at her and I said, she's way too pretty. Way too much makeup to be a real woman. And then I, I look, sure enough, sure enough, 100%. What did it say? 100% female, Tran transitioning into a 100% female. And I was like, what the fuck? So I had to stop there. And I was only through the A's and not even all the A's, okay? And I told him. I said, dude, what a fucking shame. I thought you was a real 100% man. And like a year ago, he said, we just got married. And the last time he posted on his supposed way was two weeks ago. When he told me he was single and... um lived with his son. You guys be very careful who you text, who you text, who you talk to. Let me tell you something that happened right now. I'm not lying, okay? I was sitting on the potty. Not lying. I'm doing the bathroom and I barely finished. And it hurts the doorbell. But I always do the bathroom with my door, but I don't care because I'm home, you know? This is my house. And then with my foot, I was slowly, no? I was slowly, I was with me los calzones y todo. And then I hear somebody saying, and what is your name? And then I hear Julia, Gloria. Um, what? I don't remember what more he was asking her. Personal shit. What is your birthday? And I, and, I, and I could hear her, and I said, no, 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 no. Julia, tell him to hold on, tell him to hold on. And then, uh, I don't know what else she was going to answer, and then I said, don't be giving out no information. And then I opened the door, and I had to put on my shorts, because I was wearing just my jonas. I had to put on these shorts, and then I went out there, and I said, how can I help you? And it was a police officer. Well, apparently, somebody broke into one of the neighbors cars right here next door and they stole her license money I don't know just a lot of stuff right I was just trying to ask like did you happen to hear anything last night or whatever I went all the way out there I wasn't even I didn't even have makeup or nothing and I was like hey disculpe me I didn't have my eyebrows on them. Hopping around over there with my foot on the floor. And then when she left, my daughter was like, I think that's someone's house back here. And I said, oh, okay. Because he said a little black car. Hmm. And I told the officer. I said, I'm glad you I'm I'm glad you came to tell us because I have the habit of leaving my 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 car open. And even my daughter said, You should lock it, mom. You should lock it, mom. But then I said, Who's gonna wanna steal? Steal an old piece of junk like that. You know, it's all ratchet already. It's old. And but best believe I told Julia, I said, you know what, knock all the fucking doors. I have stuff in there that's worth something. I have my wheelchair back there. I have a Expensive cane. Maybe the stereo is not too good, but the girls leave their speakers in there, and those are expensive. Oh, I pinche piecito. Ay, puto. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Que feo me duele mi piecito. I can't believe that I'm going to have to be walking around like this with this much pain and hopping around. Chabane? I told her, no, 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 today. 
look for another cardiologist that takes my insurance and shit. Nobody does. And the one that she found that does has an appointment till June or July, I believe. Look, I could hear a car outside. The Lord beep, beep, beep. Big ass beep, beep, beep. I have a VHS movie. Speaking of buggy, it's called The Priest. And it is so. It's bad because it's about a priest that's gay. But in the end, it's really sad and you cry. I wish I could see that more. The sample matches your blood type. I don't know. Everybody is different, everybody takes things differently. Some of y'all, or even me, you know, depending on your religion, whatever, you know. Guys, these beans are so fucking good, I swear to God. We haven't had any money, but I've been craving my Golden Cross so bad. I mean, not too long ago, I had promised the kids that I was going to take them to Cece's Pizza on a, on a Saturday. This was like three or four Saturdays ago, I think. Hold on. And in the end, I forgot I had to pay another bill, so I didn't have nothing left. And I felt so sad because it just it was like, you say, mama. No, oh, yeah. But I told him, I have my ticket anywhere you want. Where do you want to go for your birthday once I get money? There's this restaurant that's real close to here. It's called Julio's. It's a buffet, but it's expensive. It's like 20 bucks a pop. But it's very good. And he wants that. I usually take them to eat when it's their birthdays, my kids, and buy them a gift and then. Buy them an outfit. <laughs> and the cop was cute. He was chubby and pelon. But he didn't shave and you could see that. Stubby's coming out right here. He has a goldie, but you can see these ones coming out and they had a lot of canas. How you just buy it? About 56, the policeman. But very, very handsome face, like a baby face. Gordito. Hi, what the fuck? Can you see how this one looks real pretty and up and my eye looks bigger than this one? I guess that's the way that I put on my glue. Too. She writes everything out. She thinks no one knows about it, but I've seen it. She kept it hidden in her bedroom. It's like if it's missing a few hairs right here, huh? Lashes. You gotta forget all about it. She's sick, you understand? That's what was gonna happen. Or is it because I don't know? Or is it because I'm going blind? No, but I see this size real pretty and this one's real like. 
Right? Why do my eyes always come a little stupid? Hi, how you doing? So I've been looking for something like this. You know how I outlined my lips? And I wanted something like this, like pinky kind of. Anyways, if you hear anything in the background, I'm not, I don't have the rights to, you know, I don't want to get a copyright, whatever. This, this uh, movie doesn't have songs in it, though. Or I feel high if I sing you a song. I bet you guys don't know that song. I remember it from when I was way young, maybe even 10 years old. <clears throat> and I think it's called Sing a Song. If there's any oldies but goodies out there, people like me, sing a song. I remember because my sister had this friend named Dolores and her parents I guess had, were pretty well off and every year when it was her birthday they would uh, rent her a hall and on her 15th birthday her consider that they were not and every time She would sing a song in sign language. Oh, it was so beautiful. And that was one of the songs. Sing a song. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love for the guys. I was hungry. I didn't eat breakfast. I made my what it does like an hour and a half ago, I think, or something like that. But But I have to get ready and stuff. And it's hard to take a shower with my foot thing. Thank God that I have my shower chair now. When I first had this cocoa on my foot, I would take a shower. I almost slipped in there two times. And then, like another day, boom, the doorbell rang and it was the Walmart. The Walmart uh, package that they had sent me my shower chair finally. I have to pay for it. Well, with that card that we get from Medicaid. Medicare. You know what, guys? There's a piece of pie in the fridge. Chocolate cream. But I won't there because... I'm gonna see if I don't have a, a clock artery and I don't wanna. Uh -uh. And then tell me, guys, imagine that shit. That's fucked up. That's fucked up, Pacey. You're going out with a vato we didn't get along with? That's fucked up, bitch. Yeah. That's from my crazy life. And then the girl says, gotta do what you gotta do. Ain't no fool in my neighborhood to have a car like this. Okay, guys. And then when they when they tell you you can't eat this or that or this or that, that's when you crave it more. Last night I wanted something sweet and I never want something sweet. I'm not a candy person. I like chocolate though. And uh, I was like, Julia, is there even more milk? Just a, a little bit. Oh, she gives me a little bowl of cereal. She said, do you want cookie crisp or do you want cocoa puffs? And I said, fucking mix it. I'm not supposed to eat that, okay? 
but I ate it, and I was, I've been craving chocolate. Al último quedó, la little milk that turned into chocolate milk. Oh. It was so fucking yummy, and I was like, ah, and I told her, thank you so much, that was so satisfying and so yummy, I wanted something like that, like, but yesterday, like, I was eating out of nerves because I was hungry. I, I wasn't that hungry, but... I wanted to keep it. I usually don't do the three meals a day. I just have breakfast and sometimes later on in the later, later on, like six o'clock, I'll have something else. Pinche ojo de pescado, guys. Is it this side? Maybe that's acting stupid. Oh. <laughs> Ay, that's so funny when that happens. How dare anybody else would be so embarrassed, but. Oh well. What can I do? I'm not gonna stop the video or pause it or whatever. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, this ones look longer, real pretty. What the fuck? I have my mirror here. This is where I do all my beauty shit. Beauty. All right, beauty. So I'm gonna let you go with. Oh, my eyelash again. Tira paro, pinche pestaña. At least till the end of the video. And I have to fix it because I'm going to video try. Oh my God, it's falling down. I can look at that. Hi, guys. Parezco pendeja. Bye, guys.